Legal disclaimer. Do not make this trade. Seriously, don't. This video is for educational purposes only and placed by a professional trader from Maverick Trading. Maverick Trading is sponsoring this trading experiment with a $100,000 trading account. To trade for Maverick Trading, you can submit an application for stock, option trader or currency trader from the link in the video description below. Here we are onto Trade 52 plodding along. So let's go through what it is we are doing here. We're saying the biggest conspiracy theory outside of the flat earth. I know, big conspiracy. But the biggest conspiracy in trading is that everyone puts all the emphasis on the entry and they don't put enough emphasis on the exit. In this experiment, we're putting no emphasis on the entry and we're putting it only on the exit. We're going to sell the losers, hold the winners. We're going to pick things at random and update trade number 52. We are profitable. What is trade 52? Well, we're going to pull out the trusty wheel of either fortune or wheel of misfortune. Well, hello there, everybody. <laughs> I just wanted to pop in here and say that the first time I recorded this, I did not have the video being recorded. And I thought, how can I recreate this? Here's a problem. This is happening live. Like when I make a trade, when I choose this trade, I can't go back and recreate it. So you will have all the audio from this video, but you won't have any video. So because of that, I thought, what do I want people to watch? Well, you know what? Cats playing always makes me happy. So here's some videos about cats playing while you listen to the trade. Trade number 52 will definitely be the widest net we've ever thrown. I'm going to go to the screener and I'm going to go to our two things we talked about. We want stocks over a million shares, average daily volume, stocks over $10 a share. At this point, you can see we have 1,306. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take out ETFs as well. All right, this brings us to 1,034 total stocks. So this is our choices. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spin a wheel three times. So the highest number we can get is 999. Now look, I know I'm leaving out 35 stocks. Look, that's fine. We're not doing all 1,034, but we're going to keep them just in this order. They are in alphabetical order at this point. So I'm going to spin a wheel. That wheel is going to be the number. So again, I'm going to spin it three times. So if the first number is two, the second number is four, the last number is nine, we're going to go to this list to number 249 on the list, and we're going to make that trade. Let's spin the wheel. Here is a wheel zero to 10. Let's get the first digit. As I said, this is the largest net we've ever thrown. Usually we've narrowed it down to this or this, but not this one. This one's going to be huge. All right, so three. Three is the first number. Next number is going to be, looks like it is number nine. So 390 something. And the last digit. Remember, we're just going to go and find the stock that is on that list. We've already sorted out. 394. All right. Let's go to the list and go to trade or stock number 394. Well, I'm going to go skip to the middle here. That was way too far. 394. This is the right page. And we come down this list here. We can see 394 is F N F Fidelity National Financial. Now this will be the second time we trade this stock. My mother picked this on, I want to say like trade number eight and it ended up being a loser. We'll see what this one does, but F N F is the trade. So here we have F N F and you can see if we take a look at this moving average, you know, the last couple of days has been pretty flat. It's been pretty flat. If we got this one just yesterday, the day before, we'd have to skip it, but uh, we are tilting up a bit, up a bit. So this one's a long, like this one looks okay. I would never make this trade. Well, this trade's actually a decent looking trade, but I don't like where the market is right now. The market's going up, but there's been much better entry points for stocks here, but this is it. F and F and the current price is 49.51. Current ATR is 92.7, so we're going to round that up, 93 cents. Let's build our trade sheet. 
Today's date is January 11th. The stock is FNF. We are long. Entry 49.51. ATR is 93 cents, so 2x of that is going to be $1.86. That means our initial stop is going to be 47.65. Let's do our position sizing, and then we'll make the trade. Checking into our account balance first, you can see we are down to three positions. Two are doing pretty good. The other one is eh, kind of hanging out in the middle. Let's go get our balance. Our account balance is 102,588. 102,588. Let's go figure out our position size and we will make the trade. Account balance is 102,588. Risk was 1% on all of them. Our entry price 4951. Our stop loss was at 4765. Get rid of all these little add-ons to get our pure position size 551 shares. Let's go make that trade, put the stop in and we'll be done with this one. Ticker symbol was FNF. And again, we're going to be long Limit, we're going to buy. Position size was 551. Next up, limit price. I'm going to throw it uh, yeah, right above the limit a little bit just to give us some time to get filled. This is not a fast mover. We'll put on our stop loss. It is a trailing stop. 2x ATR was 186. Always making sure our protective orders are good till canceled. Let's hit submit. All right, so we are filled. We are filled at the price of 49.52. That's just one cent above our plan. Let's update our sheet and close this one up. Here's our final trade. We've got our initial stop, but we have our 2X target. If it gets to 51.38, we're gonna move to 1.5. It gets to 53.24. We know what to do. We just keep squeezing it a little bit more until we just stay there. At some point, those will be knocked out. We have no idea if it's going to be a profit loss. It could be our best trade ever. It really can't be our worst trade ever because we got our trailing stop in. Well, look, we could always have a gap go against us that could cause a greater than 1% loss. That is very likely to happen somewhere in this group of 100 trades. But again, at this point, we have no control. So since we have no control, don't have the illusion that you have control. Don't think I can figure this out while I'm watching it. No, you can't. That's just emotions. Stick with your position management.